Hi, my name is Tony and I'm from The Sup Company. And today, well, I'm gonna to talk to you about this board. This is the Joby Duna Adventure. So the Joby Duna, well, it is Joby's most popular touring board. And that's a little bit of a surprise, to be honest with you, because we find that for most brands, their 12 foot six model tends to be the most popular. But due to the popularity of the Duna, and really, I can put that down to simply just how well conceived as a package it is overall, due to that popularity of this model, Joby have seen fit to go and add the Joby Adventure Duna. And this board, well, They've really gone to town about it and they haven't done it just for the sake of it. Everything, every feature they've crammed into this board is warranted and it is often a really, really nice touch and something we haven't seen in other, say, more legacy, more established brands do with their own touring models and shapes. And I think there are some lessons to be learned here by other brands out of this model. So look, let's take you through the board as we do in all of our videos from the nose down to the tail. And the Joby Duna, well, it sits at uh, 11 foot six overall, 31 inches in width. It is really how it carries that width overall that's quite interesting with the model. And I think is one of the key reasons as to why it's so popular. Often we find 31 inches, some people tend to start to find that a little bit unstable. Well, Joby have actually carried an awful lot of width up in the shoulders, if you like, this, uh, just behind the nose section of the board, all the way back down to the tail. And it's quite parallel in its overall outline. And that makes for a really stable board. Starting off at the nose though, well, the nice thing with the Adventure Duna is we've got an additional handle there on the nose. So it's gonna make recovering the board out of the water or off a riverbank really, really simple. D-ring as well, so if you're looking to secure the board on the back of a boat or again on a riverbank, often there's a massive great stick to hand that you can just jam in the mud on a riverbank and then tie the board off to that. But it's really the nose as we follow it back down, you very, very quickly see not only these graphics very striking, but you can see there's a slight raised piece of material down the center line. And that is an additional piece of material that's put on the board over its entire length on its deck and also the underside. That piece of material is serving as a stringer. Now a stringer, if you're not aware of stringers and how they work, they are simply adding uh, more rigidity to your board. So as the board has its pressure added to it and the board starts to inflate, that creates more tension in the overall board length, giving you a more rigid product to go and paddle with. The drop stitch core of these boards as well is a cross drop stitch. So most drop stitch runs to and from the top to the bottom of the board, up and down. These actually run in a cross fashion, up, down, up, down, and cross over multiple times. That also leads to a more rigid board as well. Joby also run in this construction as well, welded seams. And welded seams basically means there's no glue. The uh, seams have bonded to the board. They're literally melted together for life. And you end up with a very resilient, very rigid product. In terms of innovations and nice features, um, as you work our way down the board, well, very quickly, it's like, there's a dry bag. But it's not just a dry bag, it's a dry bag fitted and designed to be positioned in this way on the board. This is only in the Adventure Series. What's great is the bungee system, though, if you want to do away with the dry bag, you can, because the bungee system simply unclips, and you end up with a very clean deck area with which to fit the bespoke dry bag to it. Alternatively, you can actually run it with none of that on the front if you want a really clear deck. And it is just a really nice touch, a really nice piece of attention to detail that we haven't often seen from other brands in their products. And yeah, full credit to JB for that. As we come back down to the deck pad, deck pad very generous, covers a large swath of the area, nice crocodile skin deck pad finish, Comfortable on the foot, relatively thick deck pad, be happy paddling this for a long period of time, no problem at all. Very simple handle, so often we find now lots of brands are really looking to create a very large padded handle in the center. This one actually sits flush with the deck of the board. This small black Velcro piece here as well, that's really serving as a means with which to attach the paddle shaft 
on here. So if you were tucking the blade itself of the paddle and either down to the bungee nets on the tail or the bungee nets on the nose, you can then rest the shaft in here and then carry the board without having to worry about the paddle. As you work our way back down the board though, you see it transitions to this um, diamond cut deck pad here, again with that crocodile finish. But you end up with a really, really generous bungee net system on the back. So this board will take masses and masses of luggage. Again, the really nice feature though is that this entire system is simply unclipped and removed from the board if you don't want it on there. And it is just a really nice feature that you can just shift and mode and change as to your own paddling needs. You'll see just how generous this bungee area is though because the board bag itself is a dry bag. That's a nice feature that you see across all of the Joby inflatables within their range, their board bags while they're not wheeled, they are backpack systems that are complete dry bags. So not only do they serve as a great means of carrying your board to and from your paddle point without getting your car or your vehicle wet, but also when you are on the water, if you've got any dry kit, or indeed if you wanna take the pump on the water with you, then you can put it in the larger bag and then stow it, and in this case on the Adventure Duna, in and under this huge bungee net system on the back end of the board. All the usual features there, we expect to see down the back. So you've got then the D-ring to attach your leash, cord leash comes with the board, and then also the valve with all the information that tells us what to inflate the board up to. In terms of features and innovations within the board, well, they don't stop just on the deck. On the underside of the board, you have this triple fin system. Now, this triple fin system, actually, it does make a big difference. Its whole purpose is really to stop any sideways drift and keep the nose on point. And that's just ensuring that as you are paddling forwards, your tracking is greatly improved in this. And with this being the adventure doona, the expectation is gonna be covering a lot of distance, you know, a bit of wild camping, that kind of stuff. And those paddling efficiencies of tracking and being able to go from point A to point B, yeah, start to really make you much more efficient on the water as a paddler and getting to your destination that little bit quicker and easier. The, um, on the underside here as well, you end up with these side bite features, which are serving much as the same purpose as well, just clearing up the wash. And what you tend to find on all inflatables, because they don't have a hard to find rail edge, it is trying to create that. And also all a good inflatable paddleboard should be doing is really trying to replicate the qualities and the paddling experience you get on a composite board, but just tying it down into the portability that you have on an inflatable. Working our way back down though, we end up with a click fin uh, US fin box. So it's taking Joby's proprietary fin that just drops in the back, clicks in with a simple click. So there's no need for a screw in a plate in order to fix that on there. You do also have a couple of fin options from JB now as well that can be bought aftermarket, but this model comes with the 11, foot, um, the 11 inch touring fin version. Back to the bag though. The really nice thing with the bag as well, not only does it carry the board and everything else if it's wet, but you also then have the pump. It's a really nice high quality um, pressure, high pressure pump as well with this additional sleeve to build up the pressure that you're after in the board, 18 to 20 PSI without issue. The handle though, it, the ends are removable, so it's reducing that overall form factor as well. And the paddle that we've mounted there on the bag, that is a three piece fiberglass paddle as well. Overall, you know, if you are looking for a really good quality, efficient, very well thought out with some really nice features board to go and cover some distance with ease and really open up your overall paddling experiences, I would highly, highly recommend that you take a look at the Joby Duna Adventure. Thanks for watching our video. If you've got any questions about what you've seen, why not give us a call in the shop or head over to thesubco.com. To stay up to date though with all of our videos, well, make sure you subscribe up here and hit the notification bell. But to see our next video, well, take a look up here.